the previous video we learned about how to add a new product into the cart and put that information into the local storage and also set that inside of the context API so that other components can use it now in this video we're going to learn about how to go ahead and pull that information from the context and show a cart icon over over here so that whenever the user goes ahead and adds product into the cart then you'll be able to see how many products have been added and what is the price for that okay great awesome so what we're going to do is we'll create a cart icon component inside of the cart directory so we'll name it as cart icon okay and remember in my second last video I had explained how to pull in information from the context so if you remember we created a context using the context API of react we had passed the cart information and the set cart method uh, instead of the attribute of the provider and because we are wrapping our layout with the app provider anything that's inside of the app provider will be able to get the value that we pass here so since the cart icon is going to be inside of the nav which is inside of the layout we will be able to access the cart data inside that awesome so go back to the cart icon and we also discussed that we can use the use context API of react hooks and we can uh, pull the data out of the context provider so we can just do import let's see use context from react and we also need the app context that we've just created which is this right here so app context from app context and then we also need the link so import link from next link and let's create a cart icon component okay now since we need the icon we need to get the font awesome so we have the font awesome over here I'm just going to copy this CDN link and go to layout and just inside of the head section I will just put a link over here let me just copy this to save time and let's just copy this one so you've got the font awesome great so inside of the cart icon so if I want the cart data remember that because we are using the use context API we can pull the cart and the set cart all the two of this from the context from the provider so we can just say cart and then set cart and we'll say use context and then we just have to pass the app context component inside of this so now cart value will be available here okay then we're going to say products count is equal to because remember inside of the local storage we have the products count available so we just need to add have that so let me show you that so you can see we have the product count available this, this that's what we need so we'll check that if the cart is not equal to null and object dot keys cart dot length which means this object is not empty so cart is an object if it's not empty then product count is equal to cart dot total that's total product count so remember that we although this information is available inside of the local storage but we had also set that information into the context if you notice here we had used the set card method to set that information into 
the context so we can pull that information okay else it's going to be empty okay similarly we can get total price because we also have total price here we'll say total price car dot total price okay awesome next thing we want to do is basically have the cart icon so we'll just return we'll use react dot fragment and you already know why we use it because if you don't have a if you don't want an extra div as a wrapper you can just use this link and then hrf because I, when the that cart icon is clicked i want the user to be able to go to the cart page so that's why i want to do this and let's create a cart page also we're not going to discuss that in this video but eventually we will need that so if you create cart.js automatically uh, this route will be available at slash cart so you'll be able to see whatever content you put inside of cart will be available at slash cart okay awesome so we've got the link inside of this we need the a tag we don't need the hrf because we've used it inside of the link on top and then let's say we need a div with a class name of woo next cart wrap so wrapper and then we'll check if we've got the total price total price which is this then show a span tag and inside of the span tag we'll have the total price so we can say dollar sign total total price dot two fixed two else don't print anything so that will display the total price right here okay next thing we need is basically the icon so we can wrap it inside of a span tag span and let's give it a class name of woo next cart icon container and over here we can have this i class name for for shopping cart woo next cart icon so we're putting this classes so we can style it later on and then okay we need to have a closing tag okay then we'll say product counts so if the count is available okay then again we need another span tag and let's give it a class name of woo next cart count okay and we'll have the product count inside of this so product products count else it'll be an empty string awesome okay so all we have to do now is just get this cart icon to be displayed here so how do we do that well this element is inside of the nav so we'll go to our nav component right here and we're just going to use this just beneath this okay so we'll say what's the name it's cart icon no not add cart button cart okay we have not exported that that's why it's not showing so we'll just say export default cart icon now it will show okay cart icon awesome product count okay here it is it's products count great so you can see now that we have got all of this showing over here now 
of course it doesn't look good because of it's not styled so I'm not going to spend time on styling this on the video so I just pause the video and style it and come back to you just to let you know I'm going to add the style inside of the style.js so we already have this right here so I'm just going to add that there okay so as you can see I've added the style and now you can see that great looks good so you can see we added the product and then we are able to see that information right here on top isn't that wonderful oh great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel in the next video we're going to learn about how to go ahead and update the card so let's say if we add another product so currently you can see nothing is happening if I add another product nothing is happening right so it, we need to update the card with the new information so so if you remember right here we are checking if it's an existing card has the items inside of it then we haven't written any logic so it's not going inside of the else statement because we already have the item in the cart we already have that inside of the local storage that's why it's not updating because we haven't done anything right here this is yet to be done only if it's a new card then it'll work so let me show that to you if I clear the local storage and just refresh now if I click on this sure enough you can see that the information is there but now if you click on it it won't work because we're checking that only if the card is not empty add the first product otherwise don't so we'll add this logic in the next video all right you do follow me on Twitter as well uh, my Twitter handle is Imran H Sayyad and I will see you next take care bye bye